In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best upload settings for YouTube shared directly from Google, and I'm going to teach you how to get those settings while exporting from DaVinci Resolve. If you're new to the channel, my name is Garrett Harding. I make videos right here on YouTube about how to edit inside of DaVinci Resolve. So if you're interested in that or you're looking to get into video editing, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the videos coming your way because all of them are going to be chock full of information that you should be able to use. The first thing we're going to be looking at today is the upload settings recommended by YouTube. So for the container, we're going to want to have an MP4 file. Our audio codec wants to be AAC-LC, sample rate is going to be 96 or 48 KHZ, video codec is going to be H.264, our frame rate just needs to be the same as we shot it at, so if we shot it in 30, we should upload it in 30. So for a 4K clip, depending on our frame rate, we're going to need a different bit rate when we upload, so that there's enough data in the frames to actually have your video look good and not have any nastiness going on in there, no artifacts or anything like that. So as you can see we need less bitrate as we go down and more frame rate equals higher bitrate even in the same resolution. And then resolution and aspect ratio here, our last one, the standard aspect ratio for YouTube on desktops is 16 by 9 but when you upload in other aspect ratios which are vertical, square, triangular, whatever you want the player will automatically adapt itself to the size of the video so that you don't have a bunch of black bars on the sides where you don't have video. The next thing we're going to be talking about is how to actually export from DaVinci Resolve with these settings. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to import a clip. Now we have our clip in our little media pool up here. If we go ahead and right click on that and then find clip attributes we'll be able to see our video's frame rate right here, so 30. So we'll know that we need to export in 30 frames to be best for YouTube. So we're going to get this in our timeline, pretend like this is our whole project, and then we're going to go ahead and pop into the Deliver page here in DaVinci Resolve. You can name it whatever you want, you can save it to wherever you want, but you want to make sure that when you export your video here, your format is MP4, because if you remember earlier, we wanted our container, in this case format, to be MP4. Resolution, just because of the way DaVinci Resolve works, your timeline resolution is what you want to have as your export resolution. So you can check that by going back into the edit page, going to file, and then finding where it says project settings right here. And then you look up here, your timeline resolution 1920 by 1080. You can change that to whatever you want, something custom or a preset one. So once you have that set where you want it, go ahead and hit save, get out of here, back into deliver. This does match, so we're good to go there. Our frame rate is 24, we want it to be 30, because that's what the clip is. So here we get to quality. We don't want it to be automatic in this case. We're going to restrict it, and we're going to restrict it a little bit above where YouTube said this needed to be. So this is our bitrate right here that we're going to be using. So if we go back to where we were, we're going to find our 1080p footage. We have 30 frames, so it says we need 8 megabits per second. We're at 80,000 kilobytes per second, which is a few too many, because 1 megabyte is 1,000 kilobytes. So 80 here, we are exporting in 80 megabytes, which is way too much data. YouTube's going to compress that down, and even when you do that, you're not going to get that big of a quality difference. You're just going to have a much longer render time and a much larger file size when you're done. This only needs 8, so we're going to go around 9 or 10,000, somewhere in there, because then we'll have 9 or 10. It's only a little bit overkill, not 72 overkill. So we go ahead and click in here, type in 9,000 and then we'll leave it there. So that's it for video settings. We don't need to be getting into these advanced settings or any of the subtitle settings for what we're doing right here. If you guys want to see a different video about those, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see about making it. So we're going to step into the audio tab here. We're going to see that our codec, if we remember from earlier, AAC was what we wanted. So we'll leave that. Our data rate doesn't need to be this high. So we'll pop back in here. 
I'll leave a link to this page in the description down below so that you can reference it as you're exporting if you want to do that. So we see that we need our data rate, our sample rate to be 96 or 48. We have 192, which is overkill. Again, YouTube is going to compress that. It's going to bust it down. That's just going to give you a bigger file size for no reason. So we will go ahead and keep the 96 just because it is a higher data rate. You get a little bit of a better sound out of that. And then that's it. Everything else, this is all your stuff. For exporting YouTube related videos, video and audio is all you need. And those are the settings you need. So here you can see them. So if you want to copy them down, these are what we would need for this specific clip. Or if you don't want to mess around with any of this stuff, you can just click on this YouTube button up here and then change QuickTime to MP4. And then all the rest of this stuff is already what it needs to be. So then you just browse to pop it into place on your computer, save it to that spot, give it a name, add it to your render queue, uh, I gotta name it FFF, uh, save. Add it to your render queue, then it'll pop up over here, you just hit start render, and then it will save to wherever you told it to save just then. And it has all of your settings how they need to be, just with that one click of a button. But if you want a little bit more control, again, the link to that page will be in the description down below. Hopefully this video taught you everything that you were looking to know about exporting for YouTube from DaVinci Resolve. If it did, again, I'd ask that you please consider subscribing because it really does make a difference for the channel. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.